What's going on, y'all? Man, today I want to do a little quick video, show y'all this, this little uh, tip that y'all might not know. A lot of people, some people might use it, a lot of people might not know about it. I'm going to pull up a piano right here. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to turn your keyboard into like a MIDI controller. So right here, if you, if you see this, this little thing right here, I don't know what it is exactly to explain it, but you want to right click on that. Now, most of the time, default, the root note is set to C and it's layout piano. So if you push like Q on, so I'll go to piano row right here. You push Q on your keyboard, the first key is going to go to C. And it's going to be, you know, the layout of the piano. That's how it comes default, right? So, you know, a lot of y'all FL Studio, we click in and use the keyboard to play our notes. So one thing you could do sometimes if you're always using the keyboard, using the same keys, instead of transposing, something you can do is automatically change the root note. So you can change it, let's say D sharp. I like D sharp a lot. So let's hit D sharp, then you hit that Q. And you see now your root note is D sharp. So you can play the same keys, but get a different sound. It's in a different key. Just to, you know, just to switch up doing the same old boring thing same key every time but if you're used to playing the same keys you know you can still play the same keys but get a different different notes so that's one thing to do with it next thing you can do with it so let's say we got let's go back to c see right now it's on layout piano but if you want to a lot of times i'll produce in uh minor so i'll go to minor natural right here aeolian so I'll, I'll click that one. So if you right click or click with two fingers on on the Mac, it'll, the menu will stay up and you can still see it. If you click, uh, just left click, the menu will go away. I don't know why I like that, but anyway, so I, see, I click that. Let's see one more time, just to show you guys that I clicked it. Minor natural. So now all of your notes will be in the minor scale. So that'll help you produce minor chords. So let, let's let's uh pair this with the uh, on the piano roll. Let's let's just actually just do it like this. See, I got the root note in F six, F sharp. I mean, I'm sorry, F sharp. So let's put the key note, the root note in F sharp, so you can see it with the uh, the ghost notes. So let's see. So now you see every every note I click is gonna be within the scale, so you can't mess up. So that's that's one way to kind of turn your keyboard into into a MIDI controller and make it to where you you can't mess up. So let's see, let's go back to C. Keep it in natural. So let's say you want to pair this with uh, scale highlighting. So you click this little drop down, go to view, go to scale highlighting right here. And we'll change that root note to C as well. So now you can see when I'm clicking in C, it's the same thing. I'm in minor and both of them. So I kind of use them together. I kind of use them together. So if I change this, let's just say I want to produce, let's just say I want to produce an A sharp. I could also take this to A sharp. That way the layout on the, the layout on the grid. will match what I play on the keys. So that's one thing you could do. Also with the scale highlighting, which is this what I just showed you, you can also click in the um, all of the highlighted notes, the lighter notes, you know, give you uh, notes that sound good for the most part. Just stay in scale, so you could make melodies and progressions like that. That's another way you could do it.
So yeah, let's just say for instance, if I want to do minor, I mean, I'm sorry, major. So let's go to major right here. And now you'll see it sound different. Let's see if we still in A sharp, yeah. So that's that's a quick way, you know, if you don't know what you're doing or just to save time. If you want to produce something in major or you want to produce something in minor, you can automatically go to the scale on here and it'll it'll make it to where you can't really mess it up. So let's just see. Another one I use sometimes is minor harmonic. So let's go to that. So yeah, man, that's just a quick and easy way. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all knew about this, but yeah, man, you just want to right click on this, pick your root note, pick what scale you want to uh, be in, or you could leave it as layout piano. Leave it as layout piano like I showed you at the beginning and just, you know, change your root note if you want to. Or, you know, if you want to, when, you, when you're done, you want to bring it back to how it was, right click, root note C, layout piano. And whatever you do, like I say, you can you can match it with the scale highlighting. So you go to view, scale highlighting, pick the same thing here. You know, you want to go C, natural, or if you want to do my uh, minor harmonic, you see the notes change. Change this minor harmonic. If I could, there we go. So yeah, man, I don't, I don't know how many of y'all knew that, and uh, just want to show y'all my workflow, how you pair them together, make it work for you. Uh, you made it this far in the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what type of videos y'all want me to do, man. Until next time, signing out.